Coach Gurney here with part two of the Ike Davis swing analysis. And Davis is going to have to eliminate that extreme hitch because in Major League history, very few, if any, players have been able to succeed with such a severe mechanical flaw. Eric Davis and Dave Winfield, two Hall of Fame players, do come to mind. However, bear in mind that those were two exceptional athletes who probably could have played other professional sports. My recommendation for Davis is to actually start with his hands at the waist level, where he's obviously comfortable in bringing them, as you see here. And he should load up and back and bring the hands back up to the left ear level and then hit from there as the pitch approaches. So his hand should start at the waist and he should load up and back towards the ear before attacking the baseball and getting into the hitting zone. If Davis can't make this adjustment, he's going to struggle even more as he ages and has a difficult time catching up with the chest-high fastball. We wish Ike all the best of luck in making these adjustments.